Okay, welcome to a uh, YouTube video for the International Bionautics Institute. Uh, I'm Steve, and I'm going to be going over a microbial fuel cell. So, this is a, a particular brand of a microbial fuel cell that's just for uh, educational purposes. Uh, made by Kegotech. Um, it's, uh, it's, their brand is a Mudwatt, um, but uh, what it actually is is a mediatorless uh, microbial fuel cell. Uh, so I've used this before and uh, took it apart and cleaned it out, but I'm going to put it back together again. So what you start with is uh, some just regular uh, soil uh, because uh, there is enough uh, microbial activity in soil, uh, very rich, that um, it can actually produce a type of bacteria that make networks of like nanowires and move electrons around. And with the large moving electrons, we have electricity. So this is uh, bioelectrogenesis, or creating electricity uh, with, with uh, biological organisms. So I took some water and I treated this because I didn't want to use regular tap water that has chlorine in it because chlorine kills microorganisms. So I just put some uh, basically like fish treatment uh, solution uh, for regular uh, freshwater aquariums. Uh, and what it does is it suspends the chlorine and then gets it out of the system. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the chlorine in here, or the, uh, excuse me, uh, pour the water in here. And I'm going to get all messy and uh, start mixing this up a little bit. This is pretty dry, so it's a little bit dusty. As soon as we get some uh, enough water absorbed in here, it won't take up so much dust anymore. One of the mechanisms that you'll want to evaluate your soil is um, if it has a really earthy smell, that that the odor is the result of very rich microbial uh, bacterial activity. So I was looking at the how to do this video uh, with uh, uh, Kigo's Mudwatt, and uh, they were using gloves, uh, which I thought was kind of funny because. Uh, this is not uh, something that is toxic for you in any stretch of the imagination. So I'm continuing to mix this mud up a little bit. And so this, the goal here is to get this um, making uh, a small amount of electricity. It is a pretty small amount but it is something that you don't have to, um, you're not using any kind of uh, uh, non-renewable resource. Okay. All biological organisms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff this down. You can come over here, probably, and get a little bit closer. Thanks for mentioning my name. I'm going to pack this down to about a one centimeter line. Uh, and then I'm going to put in the anode. And so this is like a carbon, I can't remember if it's a, it's like a, it's a type of carbon, uh, like felt. Uh, and this is the, uh, basically what the bacteria are going to actually start attaching to. And while making as least amount of mess as possible, with mud. I'm going to fill it up to the five centimeter line if you can find that. Just a little bit more. cathode on top. Uh, it felt just a tad dry, so I'm going to pour a little bit more water in there. Okay, and uh, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. I'll be right back, and then we'll put the rest of the uh, 
the lid on. Getting any of the excess mud off of the threads of the jar so we can get a good seal on there. Get back there and pack it down just a little bit more. Make sure it has good solid contact. It does. Back up a little bit, Robbie. Okay. And there is the. Oh, I kind of messed up a little bit. Okay, so what is going to happen is bacteria is going to, uh, or bacteria are going to populate uh, all over the anode and the cathode uh, and start actually producing electricity. Uh, and that's where it will be coming out here and I'll have a subsequent video and we'll uh, throw an LED on there and start letting it, uh, start watching it blink. Um, there is a uh, app for Mudwatt uh, that you can uh, use with your uh, the camera on your phone to see how frequently uh, an LED is blinking uh, in your Mudwatt, which gives you an idea of the total amount of bacterial growth. And so we'll go over that uh, on the next video. Thank you.